Hey guys, what's up? Another BNA bid pallet auction. This is a Smyrna. This is located in Smyrna pallet auction. We have uh, 45 wholesale pallets coming to you here. Um, this is a quick preview, so without further ado, let's get started. Hey, pallet number one is uninspected home improvement stuff. We got some home light blowers, some Ryobi stuff, uh, pressure washer attachments, blowers, good stuff like that, all inspected. Home improvement, outdoor type product on pallet number one. Number two, three, four, all, again, all uninspected stuff here. Most of this stuff looks new to me. A lot of stuff in bags, but we're calling it uninspected. Got some, some little earbuds or I guess over the ear uh, headphones. All kinds of good stuff in this pallet here. Lots and lots and lots of items. Pallet number two, Thrawn, Shaver, all uninspected, overstock and returns on two, three, and four. Here's number three, got a little indoor outdoor antenna, uh, flashlight, uh, looks like a, like a frisbee flash, I don't know what that is, it's like a frisbee flashlight, some sort of clippers there, a um, bathroom bar, some more clippers there, Spider-Man toy, that is pallet number three. Going on to four, four is the uh, healthcare and uh, grooming kit, because you got all kinds of shavers on there, you got one, two, three shavers, you got a, a curling iron, all kinds of good stuff here. And you got Thanos' hand. You got oh. Thanos' hand right there, his glove. Take over the world with pallet number four. Number five, uh, we would call five salvage used product. Again, it's all used uh, pieces, untested. Uh, some gas powered home light and Toro. Looks like uh, weed eaters. Uh, some Ryobi battery powered stuff. All used stuff here. But again, those do it yourselfers out there. This is a good looking pallet on pallet number five. Six is brand new. Brand new clothing. We sold a very similar pallet like this last week. So we got PJs, PJs, some jeans, some little uh, shark tops, some ladies' dresses. We got different sizes, XXL. Um, this one here is looks like a size 10. All with tags. All brand new, brand new in plastic with tags. Um, so pallet number six, great piece for those resellers out there on pallet number six. Number seven, a little bit more of the same of the uninspected um, home improvement. Uh, products, lots of Ryobi. So we have gas powered blowers, we got some hedge trimmers, some home light blowers, a little bit of everything on this one here for pallet number seven. Eight more on inspected, got a little UNC basketball, um, a little fan, some sort of unicorn there, maybe a, a heater possibly there, a uh, F22 Raptor, not sure what that is, maybe like a remote control plane, Harry Potter cards. Tactical flashlight, tactical flashlight, Harry Potter thing there as well. All uninspected shelf pools, uh, overstock, customer returns on pallet number eight. Number nine, 25 cases of tiles. A nice looking tile here. Um, 25 cases, about 12 to $13 per case. They're gonna have 540 bucks on value for this one here. So, some nice looking tile here. This is a 12 by 12 tile, 25 cases. 10. I'm inspected again. Man, lots and lots of this stuff here. Lots of Ryobi, lots of home light. Um, pressure washer, electric pressure washers, uh, tiller attachments, blowers, home light blowers. Again, if you guys, if you are a repair guy, this is the, uh, definitely one of the pallets you want to get involved in on pallet number 10. 11 more of the uninspected returns and overstock. Uh, some more antennas, lots of antennas. Got a Motorola uh, baby monitor there as well. Another monitor here, keyboard. All kinds of good stuff on this one here. That is pallet number 11. 12, hey, one of my favorites. Got a big chicken um, PJ and like a dinosaur PJ and a, uh, what is it, a rhinoceros? What is that thing? Maybe. Yeah, maybe a rhinoceros. But again, all brand new tags. All Hit brand button. new tags. If you want to be the talk of your neighborhood, just wear this little chicken outfit or, or dinosaur outfit around your neighborhood. It's Halloween, just in a couple days. If you haven't gotten your costume yet, look no further. You can be a whole family of chickens <laughs> with pallet number 12. 13, one of my favorites, it is a chicken plucker. I would hate to be a chicken and go in that thing. Um, I think the relay's bad on, we tried to get it working, it did not, so we believe the relay is working, so we're selling it as salvage, but again, um, it's brand new, just couldn't get it to work, so our loss is your gain. A uh, chicken plucker, new, but salvage, because again, we believe the relay is bad on it. 14, it's a bunch of smalls, home improvement smalls, staplers, uh, plumbing supply, lights, all kinds of good stuff in this one here. Some tubing, um, some stuff in boxes, some stuff in packaging, some stuff not. Two brand new water heater elements. That's got to be worth 30 bucks right there. 
Easily 30 bucks there on pallet number 14. 15. Overstock. And customer returns. Got a uh, stretch cover for a sofa or a love seat, a little remote control car. Um, headlights there, a little uh, neck pillow, some water lines here. Again, all this stuff is worth money. All the, you got money in these things here. Lots of units, man. Lots and lots of units here on these pallets here. Pallet number 15. 16, more of the same. Ryobi, Ryobi, Ryobi. Uh, looks like a lot of this stuff is battery powered. You know, the good thing about Ryobi is most of the batteries are universally fit to work on multiple items, multiple units. Got a chainsaw here. Um, Again, Ryobi products here, mostly battery powered, but some gas. I'm gonna guess this chainsaw here is a gas powered chainsaw. 17 and 18, uninspected returns and overstock. You asked for it, we provided. Uh, what is that? A smart garage. Smart hat. garage, look at that. Uh, air, it's two smart garages on there. Right. This is a smart pallet, Chris. Very smart pallet. What's that there? Look at this thing here 4WD battery powered off road truck on pallet number 17. 18, home improvement stuff. Everyone's favorite. Proof. I've got a, yeah, everybody's favorite. Honeywell smart thermometer. We've got a uh, little pumpkin blow up, some lights, some goggles, uh, a little small paint sprayer there as well, some plumbing supplies, all plumbing stuff. It's like it's new and packaged yeah. or opened up, but we're going to call it uninspected for 18. 19 is going to be customer return. Shelf pulls as well. Shelf pulls. I said shelf pulls. Yeah. All right, so what this is is stuff that didn't sell in our store, did not get returned, just did not sell in our store. This is a snowblower. Why wouldn't that sell? Why would, but why are we pulling this from our shelf in December? That makes no sense. Well, it's not December. It's really October. November. It still <laughs> makes no sense. Our loss is your gain. These are shelf pulls. These are shelf pulls. They are not returns. They are shelf pulls. Stuff that were in our stores. And we just pulled them off the shelf because we don't know what to do with them. So nice and good looking pallet there. Bunch of baby powder. Bunch you of know. baby powder. I saw that. On number 19. 20, 20, 20. Unexpected, unexpected, unexpected. Um, elephant and piggy. Biggie game. Motorola camera, some um, insecticide. Uh, looks like another uh, love seat or sofa cover there, a little remote control. Lots of units in that one there. 21, more new stuff. Again, same, a little bit more of the same. These are these little dinosaur PJs. These things retail for $28. Look at that, on tag, brand new, with tags. Probably 50 or 60 of them in there. And some PJs, some plaid PJs. What's retail on those? 24 bucks with tag, all with tags. If he sells at 10% off, it's still probably worth two, three hundred dollars easily mm -hmm. on pallet mm -hmm. number 21. 22, unexpected again. Lots of phones, remote control car, got a ring light. I take it to the bank or talking bank ATM, mm -hmm. digital antenna on 22. 23, this is the weed eater special. Lots and lots of weed eaters. Home light, Ryobi. Got a little home light. Uh, chainsaw, this electrical chainsaw uh, for our do it yourself versus a great little pallets. 24, I have no idea. I have no idea. I is think they're for packing boxes. Yes, they are. Let's just say that. Okay. There's a lot of them. So if you have a lot of boxes to pack in this very specific size, this is the pallet for you. It is a nice fabric. I think we sold the boxes for this last time. Yeah, we, we this, did. Yeah. Yeah, we did. So. That was a big fail. We put them together. So the box, whoever's out there that bought those boxes, come on and bid on this one here. Bid on 24. 25, you won't find this one anywhere. It's a whole pallet of trash lid, trash can lids. <laughs> trash can lids. All right? Just the lid. So if you live in Oscar the, Oscar the Grouch's neighborhood and they all live in trash cans, this is the pallet you want to buy because you just put a lid on top of them, keep those guys quiet. But pallet 25 is a whole pallet of trash can lids. I think they're aluminum, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and guess on that. Hey, 26, getting a little bit better. Kitchen cabinets. One, two, three kitchen cabinets, brand new and brown, dark brown here. Three kitchen cabinets here, brand new by Hampton Bay. That's pallet number 26. 27, some really nice wall stack stuff. Really, really beautiful piece here. Um, nice, nice stack stone, wall stack stone here on pallet 27. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten cases of it on 27. I'm sure I have notes on it. Yep. Uh, new, ten cases, stack stone. Um, 28. Get yourself in the light bulb business, right? Brand new 40 watt light bulb, soft white, three packs here. There are 120 cases of these 
Each one's about 10 bucks. Quick math, $1,200 on the pallet, all brand new stuff here. So again, if you have a lot of lights in your house, you wanna get this pallet, or if you just wanna sell some lights at a good price, I'd get this pallet as well, 20 is a good one. 29, nice looking window. Sliding. Really nice. nice sliding window, beautiful window here. Um, if you're in the home improvement game, you know windows are expensive. Um, don't buy one, just you know, build your house around this particular window here, and you save a whole lot of money on pallet number 29. 30, nice two types of tile. The majority of it's gonna be this 12 by 12 on number 30. Um, 25 cases. 25 cases, again, we have a couple of this, this rectangular one. I think only have four or five, five, five of those. But the rest of it is all that um, 12 by 12 brown um, tile, really nice ceramic tile there. So again, you get a couple bonuses with these, uh, these rectangular ones here. 31, we got three doors, exactly the same. Three doors, here's some information, upside down. Read upside down. 31, three doors. They are interior wood doors. We got three of them here. 32 by 80. 32 by 80, 32 by 80. So if you wanna build a house around that window and these doors, you got three doors to start. 32 is some life proof flooring. Is it all the same flooring? I'm guessing it, it is. is. Yep, yes. it is all. Nine cases of it. They're about 60 bucks a pop, so you're looking at about five hundred dollars worth of of, uh, of it, flooring. Each one probably covers. Let's see, how many square feet they cover. I think twenty square feet. Yeah, twenty square feet. How many did we say we had? Nine. Nine. One hundred eighty square feet. So again, a small room. Definitely gonna be a small room with this here with some really nice flooring. Thirty three. What's thirty three? Uh, uninspected. unexpected just big stuff but big unexpected we got a scary witch thing and some blowers and just a mystery box of un Look, it, it, it even says uninspected on the label so it's uninspected for us as well and this um, is a antenna but we have no idea if it works or not oh. a giant antenna one by one giant antenna very cool very cool heater there just in time for christmas 34 more unexpected i'm guessing mm-hmm Brand new shelf, bookshelf. Bookshelf got a safe here with a big gash in it. You got one of a kind. Show how tough it is. Don't know if there's any keys on it or not, but hey, it's there. Uh, dust stop, some lighting, some outdoor large lanterns as well. Got a mop bucket on that one. Good looking pallet here. I like that pallet 34. On to 35, more uninspected stuff, medium sized items. Phillips shaver, some more unicorns. Um, Air uh, filters. Air filters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a ton. Two-tier dish rack here. And two-tier dish rack. Well, that's, that's, that's high item count on these. High item count on these. All right, yeah. Going on to 36, unexpected. This is a good mixed palette. Tile. Most of it's new. I don't get so. Yeah, this is all new. We got some little bottles here, some tiles, a bunch of valves. Like, tons and tons of these valves. Maybe Honestly, probably sell those ten dollars each. Yeah, they might be expensive. Yeah, it might be copper. I don't know why you put them in there. It's, Yep, brass, brass. And brass. Sorry, brass. Even better. Oh yeah. Even better. There's more of them. Okay. This is, all, actually, this is a great pallet, folks. This is a great. It's all full of brass. This is, this is a high dollar pallet right here. Easy. Fourteen hundred dollars. Easy brass. and brass. Lots and lots. All filled. Heavy pallet. All kinds of different fixtures and sizes. Copper. Yep. Right here. So for our recyclers out there, this is definitely the pallet you want to get involved in brass and copper. Or an eBay. -er. And and you know what? And a microwave. A microwave just, just to top it up. Just to throw it all in the mix. Just don't put it in there. Don't put the brass in the microwave. I would definitely uh advise against that. Advise against that. Some lighting on this one as well on inspect some lighting, some tons of lights. Some fan I guess this is like some sort of like a erosion fence. I'm not sure what that is here. And then some mystery boxes, just taped up mystery boxes. Taped up. We love mystery. We love the mystery on that one. Unexpected. 38. Looks like a bunch of new stuff on 38, but we don't know. We're going to call it unexpected because a lot of plastic bags in here. That's tons of stuff. Yeah, I, I take it back. It's definitely not new. There are some new stuff in here. We're going to call it unexpected because some of these have been open. Hey, a little fish. A little fish for your dog. Pretty sure it moves. Yep. 39 salvage furniture got some headboards some sideboards some rails all kinds of good stuff right here and it just a uh, foam uh tubing as well 39 good looking pallet there 39 40 uninspected these Un are just i got a salvage here we're gonna call it salvage just well, don't know. Oh, okay that's what you got on the list here too yeah but, uh, salvage furniture is what i'm gonna say box one of two so uh -huh. 
this could be legs to a table to be top to a table um not that it's it's awful it's just you know got a mirror on here some maybe a, maybe a dog crate down there mm -hmm. on the bottom 41 2 sony bravia 75 so these 75 inch Se TVs? 75 no, yeah. this is class 75 are they 75 inches or are they 95 they're, they're not 90. They're not 90. Yeah, it's 75. All right. Huh. Probably should have done a little research before this. 190, 189 centimeters. Yeah, these, these were made in, in London. Um, it's got to be a 75 inch. Yeah. Well, there's there's the X95. Well, now you know what? I got to figure it out. <laughs> It's a 75 one, Chris. It's a 75 inch TV, probably. But hey, they're salvaged. They are broken. Parts only. Parts only. Parts only. If they're not broken, hey, then it really is your gain or loss. Um, oh, yeah. But they were, came in at the bottom of a, of a pallet and got crushed. But again, parts only. You know, the board's in there. The controller's in there. The, the stands. All that stuff should be worth money. We, they're not inspected. We just know that they're broken. Or they should be broken. So we're selling them as broken. 42. Uninspected stuff here, miscellaneous stuff. Some self-sealing ice and water barriers there, a big uh, LED, industrial LED light. What is this here? Uh, AC? Big AC unit? Big AC unit on this that one. Looks like that. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Not even taped. Hmm. Oddball. Hey, good looking piece. Um, same thing with this one here. This is number 43. Got a nice glass top. Again, salvage TV, salvage TV, salvage TV. We're gonna call 43 salvage just because of the TV on it. Got some cushions, looks like, or some, um, I'm not sure what that is. That's a cushion there. Yeah. It's a sort of futon cushion. And a KYB, the auto parts. Yep. Always got to see those. 44 uh, shower kits. So what do we have here? Tell me what we got here. Um, we have three units that are complete. So you have the shower glass, and then you have the rail systems. There is one extra piece of glass on there. So there's four glass units and then three of the actual track systems. Couldn't have said it better myself on the on the brand new shower kit. 45 is a really nice door. Really, Massive. really good looking door here on this one. Um, it's got the cover. That's why these windows look like they're frosted. Um, but really nice double door window, out exterior door, beautiful patio door, outdoor on 45. Probably about a six, seven hundred dollar door easily. 46 is going to be incomplete salvage, just miscellaneous parts, pieces to furniture. Again, we know we got people out there that are able to work magic with this. It's amazing how you guys do it. I'm so thankful that you're around. Um, 46 is salvage incomplete. 47 is not going to show up in this video, only pictures to be even close to how nice of a piece of glass it is. It is a glass table, doesn't have the base. Maybe the base is in one of these pallets, who knows? But it is a thick, thick. Can you get down here so I take these glasses? It's thicker than my thumb here. Yeah. It, it, and it's heavy. It's all heck. You're going to um, need three or four people easily, to lift it. Easily. Big six foot, maybe maybe eight foot. Yeah, it's longer than six. Big, big, beautiful piece of glass. The glass is worth money. Um, you can cut it up. Do all kinds of stuff. Make a base for it. A beautiful table. Again, it's not going to show nearly as nice as it is in this video as it is in real life. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And 48, last but not least, um, box damage. Yeah, this is a giant chandelier okay, on the giant. bottom. Okay. And then these are box one and two of two, but so unknown. Complete, but box damage. Yep. Okay, I got you. Hey, thanks, Chris. Thanks for watching the auction. Uh, we appreciate all the business you guys give us. Uh, we'll get this one posted probably tomorrow, which I believe is Friday. And uh, we'll run over the weekend and maybe close on Monday night. So thanks for watching. If you have questions, message us. And again, really appreciate all the business you guys give us and all the support. Uh, see you soon.